The following hour of programming is paid programming brought to you by Allen Media Group. The biggest comedy stars. What was the famous advertising slogan for Hooters? We also have food. <laughs> Walter Wall laughs. Which superhero's alter ego practices law? Super Manowitz. <laughs> Funny you should ask. Today on Funny You Should Ask, John Lovitz, Vivica A. Fox, Louie Anderson, Byron Allen, Whitney Cummings, Bill Engvall, and here's our host, John Kelly. Funny you should ask the show where every question has a funny answer. Won't you please show your love one more time for these true comedy icons? <laughs> time now to meet our players. Everybody help me give a very, very warm welcome to Jackie and Kelvin. <laughs> how you guys feeling? Good. You look great. This is how we do it on Funny You Should Ask. Three rounds. I ask the comics a question, they give an answer, and you decide right. Or wrong. Every correct answer, you earn money. Whichever one of you has the most money, the end of three rounds wins the game and goes on for a shot at five grand, five thousand dollars. Let's get to it and get it done. By flip of a coin, Jackie, you will go first, and let's keep the good vibrations going with superstar alum of SNL, John Lovitz. Big John. True or false? According to Aztec law, if a man takes a woman's virginity. He must marry her. Well, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> I'll say it's true, John Kelly. John Lovitz, thank you very much. He says true. Jackie, is he right or wrong? I think he's right. The right answer? I'm so sorry, that's false. Oh! You made it up. False. Plenty of time, Jackie. Kelvin, to you for $100. Bring in a, a true force of entertainment nature. That's Vivica A. Fox, everyone. Yeah. Vivica A. Question, if you will. According to the Lion King, what phrase means no worries for the rest of your days? A sugar daddy. Yeah. <laughs> is Akuna Matata. Kelvin, does that sound right or wrong? I would think, uh, I would think she's right. Man, you're right on the money. Akuna Matata it is, Kelvin. First on the board with $100. Jackie, back to you for $100. Let's go to three-time, that's right, three-time Emmy winner, Louis Anderson. The magic number. I have a true or false for you. There's a chicken out in Cleveland that can actually play 11 musical instruments. Not after I'm done with them. <laughs> Plays the piano. <laughs> Got a tiny trumpet. Xylophone. True. Louis says true, Jackie. Does that sound right or wrong? I think he's right. The right answer? It's false. Oh! Kelvin, back to you. Let's go up to a true media mogul, Mr. Byron <laughs> Allen. Yo, Byron. Yeah. Hey, uh, I have a true or false, Byron. Okay. Erectile dysfunction drug Cialis just surpassed Viagra and is now number one on the market. Wow, that's some stiff competition. <laughs> You know what? Uh, not that I would know. <laughs> of course not. No. But that's true. Kelvin, is that right or wrong? And I'm going to say that's true. The I right answer? You... Sorry, fellas, false. <laughs> Back to you, Jackie. A chance to tie this game up, and let's go to the gifted and glorious Whitney oh, Cummings, everyone. Hey. So good to have you, young lady. True or false? The coat of arms of Nova Scotia features an image of a unicorn and a Native American. Hmm. Thanks to tequila, so does my lower back. It was so long ago. That's
that's back when we called them Indians, so I, we're not allowed to say that anymore. A bunch of comics. Um, I think this is true. I think she's wrong. Oh, answer? hey, hey, how dare you? <laughs> How dare you disagree with me even though I don't even know what I'm saying? <laughs> the correct answer, true. She nailed it. All right, Kelvin, over to you to add to your lead. Let's go to stand-up comedian extraordinaire, Mr. Bill Engball, everybody. Bill. I'm not going to be able to top that. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. Tough act to follow. Yeah. You can be on top whenever you want, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, honey, I'll be late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hope we're still on the air. Hey, uh, hey, Bill, question to you. Sure. According to CNN, there may soon be a world shortage of beer due to what? Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no, believe it or not, it's climate change. Kelvin, sounds right or wrong? I think he's right. Sound like an educated answer? Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. Climate change or global warming. Kelvin wraps up on a high note. That brings us to the end of round one. Kelvin with $200. Jackie, plenty of time to go. When we come back, round two, right here on Funny You Should Ask. Closed captioning provided by... Funny you should ask. We are now at round two. Kelvin, with a slim lead, plenty of time to go. Right now, we'd like to get to know our players a little better. Jackie, please go first and tell everybody about you. I'm a professional salsa dancer. <laughs> Jackie, I just want to say I am a professional salsa eater. <laughs> well, if you groove your way to a victory today, uh, what might you do with cash? Well, my friend is getting married in Barcelona, and she's asked me to perform at her wedding. So if I win, it'll make our trip, like, so much better. Okay, cool. You must be talented being invited <laughs> to perform. Kelvin, it is your world, your stage. Tell us about you. All right, well, I am a youth acting coach, and I'm currently a single father of a beautiful daughter who lives in Russia. Oh, okay. Proud pops. If you win today, Kelvin, what do you want to do with the money? I would like to self-publish a book that I wrote that's based on interracial relationships and showing the beauty of diversity for children all around. Wow, okay, that's beautiful, man. Thank you. Oh, I love that. I love it. Thank you. All right, spectacular luck to both of you players. We continue every correct answer. Now $200. Kelvin, you're first. And John Lovitz, I have a true or false. Austin, Texas just opened America's very first all-nude water park. Yeah, but they won't let me bring my snorkel and goggles. <laughs> True. I'm going to say that's false. So you think he's wrong? I think he's wrong. False, it is. Kevin for $200. All right, Jackie. Vivica Fox would like to help out. Hey, Vivica, true or false? According to National Geographic, astronauts often lose their fingernails out in space. Lose my nails? <laughs> Houston, we definitely have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. I love her, so I'm going to say she's right. The right answer, you'll love this. True is it. True is it. Yes, yes. Kevin, back to you and Louis Anderson. I have a true or false, my man. Robert Wright, an 86-year-old man in Denver, was arrested when he was caught selling crack from an ice cream truck. That's terrible. They didn't have any ice cream? <laughs> Why wouldn't that be true? I love you, Louie. Why wouldn't that be true? Why it says it's true. true. Kelvin, right or wrong? I'm a cartoon fan. I trust his judgment, so I'm going to say I think he's right. Love his cartoons. You're not going to like this, though. False. Oh. False. Sorry about that, man. All right, Kelvin's missed. That opens the door for Jackie to tie things up and Byron Allen for $200. Hey, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, Byron, question to you. When two cars stop at an intersection at the very same time, who has the right of way? The one with no car insurance. 
Jesus. Uh, <laughs> the one to the right. One to the right. Yeah. Jackie, right or wrong? I think he's right. Correct answer, the right of way. Right is right. Jackie, we are all tied up. Kelvin, back to you. And hey, Whitney. Hi, hello, sir. True or false? In conjunction with the upcoming Barbie feature film, Mattel is releasing the stand-up comedy Barbie doll. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Like, what's the deal with your boyfriend having no genitals? Like... <laughs> True. Thinks it's true, Kelvin. I think she's wrong. You think she's wrong? <laughs> the right answer? That is, in fact, false. Kelvin nails it for $200. <laughs> Jackie, this one's for you and Bill Engvall. True or false? Over in the UK, it is illegal to be intoxicated while in charge of cattle. You see, it takes one lonely farmer to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> I'm going to say it's true. Jackie, think Bill's right or wrong? I'm going to say I think he's wrong. The right answer? It's true. <laughs> that is true. Sorry about that. And that will wrap up round two. We have a tight one between Jackie and Kelvin. We come back. Round three, everything on the line right here. I'm funny. You should ask. See you then. Want to keep laughing? Download the free Funny You Should Ask game app today. Holding a slight lead over Jackie, but it's anybody's game. I'll remind you, whichever one of you has the most money at the end of this round, not only wins this game, you'll go on for a shot at an extra five grand. $5,000. That's what we want to give away today. Every correct answer, now $300. Jackie, a chance for you to grab the lead right here with John Lovitz. Hey, John, true or false? A survey over in England found that men keep their underwear for an average of seven years. Well, it's the longest relationship I've ever had. <laughs> Well, being a man, I'd have to say it's true. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the insight, John. He says that is true. Jackie, for the lead, is he right or wrong? It makes sense, so I'm going to say he's right. It makes sense, huh? Well, it is right. <laughs> true it is. <laughs> got you good. Jackie now grabs the lead for the first time in this game. Kelvin, the heat's on. All right, all right. Vivica A, Kelvin needs your help. Hey, true or false? The Boy Scouts of America offer a merit badge in... Fortune telling. Mm. I see in your future virginity. <laughs> <laughs> it's false. Kelvin, does that sound right or wrong? I would say she's right. <laughs> well played, false it is. Kelvin grabs the lead here. This one going back and forth. We got a heavyweight battle. Jackie. It is your turn for Louie Louie. Hey, Louie Anderson, true or false? 48% of car accidents occur within five miles of a fast food restaurant. You see, that's what happens when they forget the fries. <laughs> huh? Is that, is that it? Is that it? That's it. <laughs> I'm going to say true. All right, Louie says true. Jackie, is that right or wrong? I think he's wrong. Correct answer? That is false. Pay this young woman, please. Jackie, now back in the lead, going back and forth. Kelvin, it's in your court now to Byron Allen for 300. Hey, Byron, the sport that features competitors trying to force the other out of a ring is called what? A divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, that's easy. Sumo wrestling. For 300 and the lead, is he right or wrong? I trust him. He's right. Trust is good. Sumo wrestling it is. Kelvin, right. now with $1,200, going to the wire. Jackie, over to you. Ms. Cummings, true or false? 
A Seattle woman lasted 47 days without food after becoming convinced human beings could survive on nothing but air, water, and light. Yeah, but she did look amazing in her coffin, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. I know a lot of women that would pay money for that diet. Um, it's probably not true. Jackie, for the lead, is she right or wrong? She said false. I think she's wrong. The correct answer? Her gut was right. True it is for $300. You knew it deep down. Kelvin, back to you for the lead. Let's go over to Bill here for $300. The bell will signify right there that it's a big moment for you, Calvin, right here. You get this question right, you get $300. You'll win the game and you go on for a shot at $5,000. However, <laughs> other side of that coin, if you miss this one, you go home and Jackie goes on for the big money. All right. All right. Kelvin, you ready? I'm ready. I know you are. Bill, you're ready. Good luck, buddy. True or false? Bread was so important back in ancient Egypt, they used it as currency. Yeah, but it made it really awkward when they just wanted to buy bread. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that is true. It's actually very true. Kelvin, for $300 and victory... What say you, right or wrong? I would say he's right. The correct answer for the money and the victory, true it is, right there, Calvin, in the clutch. <laughs> crunch time. You, my man, congratulations, a champion. A funny, you should ask. Jackie, what a great effort to come from behind you, spectacular. Give it up one more time, Strong. Back to you, man, that $1,500 yours to keep. When we come back, $5,000 on the line for Kelvin. We'll see you on the other side of this break right here on Funny You Should Ask. That was a battle. If you'd like to be a contestant on Funny You Should Ask, go to funnyyoushouldask.tv and make it happen. Kelvin, a hard-fought battle, $1,500. That is yours. That is going home with you. And it can get a whole lot sweeter right now. You get through this round, we'll add an extra $5,000 to your pocket, meaning a potential $6,500. It's a good day, man. Yes. We're pulling for you, everybody in this building. This is how we do it. Three questions, all three multiple choice. You nail all three, we give you that extra five grand. Are you ready? I'm ready. To I'm make ready. some money. Here we go, Calvin. Right. We're all pulling for you. Question number one. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, an attempt to improve what's already perfect is known as what? Jumping the shark. Gilding the lily. Double stuffed Oreos. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for a jump in the shark. You're going for jumping the shark. shark. Question number one for the $5,000. The correct answer, gilding the lily, man. <laughs> Yeah, jumping the shark is when you've gone too far on something, kind of messed up a good thing. Yeah. Soft one on that, but the good news. Yes. $1,500, that money is all yours. Congratulations. Appreciate Everybody, give it up strong for Kelvin right here, a true champion. Thank you, Kelvin, for everything as usual. Thank all of you at home for watching. Until next time, right here on Funny You Ask, keep on smiling. Come say hello to everybody. Yeah.